Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna give you a little gift because I love y'all, okay? And we're gonna do a little tutorial today, a little tutorial for this perfect beginner friendly scarf. It was a design that I was kind of stuck on for a while. I knew I wanted to do a scarf with a scalloped edge, but I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted it to look. And then I was like, wait, the scalloped ruffly edge is like perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I just paired it with some heart granny squares and we're here and we have a scarf and it's, I'm so, it's so cute. It is so cute, okay? And it's very beginner friendly and it works very quickly. What more could you ask for? Truly, okay? Some more features about this. It has a bit of a double edge. I decided to hold a strand of mohair with my lighter heart color that I also used for the scallop just to give it a bit more texture. I just used yarn that I had laying around and I happened to have a light pink mohair that matched the yarn so it worked perfectly, but it's totally optional. I just thought that fuzzy mohair halo texture was perfect for Valentine's Day, nice and lush and comfortable. Fuzzy is just very much a Valentine's Day texture for me, which is why I thought it would be a nice addition, but it really is so wonderful. I'm very happy with how this turned out and hopefully you guys love making this. Hopefully you get a lot of wear out of it and hopefully it is very fun for you to make and you just have a good time. You put on a nice little show, maybe you put on, maybe you put on some of my videos and you just have a good time making the scarf. That's honestly all I want for you. So without further ado, let's just jump into everything that you're gonna need and then how to make it. All of the materials that I use will be linked down below as well as additional resources for the techniques that we go over in this video. So for the majority of the scarf, I use an acrylic. I, like I said, just use what I had laying around, which for me was Big Twist, which is a size four acrylic yarn. I use two different colors, a lighter pink and a darker pink, but feel free to use as many or as few colors as you want. Obviously to get the heart look for the granny square, you're gonna wanna use at least two colors, but feel free to use more. I feel like that would look gorgeous. Also optional is to hold a strand of mohair with your lighter heart color for the heart and the scalloped edging. This is just from Hobby. I just had it laying around so I paired it with the lighter pink and it worked wonderfully just to give it a little bit more texture. I used a five millimeter crochet hook and you will also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle for sewing up the squares at the end. And lastly you'll need a stitch marker if you want to be able to keep track of your rounds a little bit easier. And that's all you're gonna need. I used I would say about a third to a half of my skeins of acrylic yarn. These are 170 gram skeins and I would say I used about three quarters of my mohair which is 25 grams. So those are the materials that you're gonna need and now we're gonna jump into actually how we're gonna make the pattern. So you're gonna start by taking the color that you want for the heart part of the granny square as well as the mohair if you're choosing to hold a strand of mohair with it we're gonna start by creating a magic circle. So to do this, you could do it a couple of different ways. But I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I'm going to hold the two strands between my index finger and my thumb, and I'm going to wrap the yarn twice around so that I have an X right there on my hand. Then I'm gonna take my crochet hook and I'm going to go underneath the first part of the X, the one that is underneath, grab the yarn that is on top and pull through. But instead of letting go to create a slip knot, I'm going to come back around with that loop I just pulled through on my hook. And from there, I'm going to grab my working yarn and I'm going to pull through the loop on my hook. And that gives me the magic circle that we can work into, but I'm gonna show you how to do that one more time. So I'm gonna take the yarn between my index finger and my thumb, and I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna wrap once and then twice right around my finger. Then I'm gonna take my crochet hook and I'm gonna go underneath the bottom strand of yarn. I'm gonna lift up and using the hook, I'm gonna grab my working yarn, the yarn that is the top of the X, and pull through and I'm not gonna let go of the yarn I'm going to turn the hook around 
and grab the working yarn. I'm going to yarn over, grab the working yarn, and I'm going to pull through. And now we have a magic circle. From here, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to work 12 double crochets into the magic circle. So to do a double crochet, I'm going to yarn over once, I'm going to insert my hook right through the center of the magic circle, just through the center, I yarn over and pull through. So now I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two of the loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through one more time. So that was one double crochet right there in my magic circle. I do not count the chains in the beginning as a double crochet. I do 12 double crochets within the magic circle, not including those chains, okay? So we're gonna do one more time. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the magic circle, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook. I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna pull through two loops, and I'm gonna yarn over one more time and pull through two loops. We now have two double crochets within the magic circle. We're gonna do this another 10 times and then we'll come back here. All right, now that we have our 12 double crochets, you're gonna find the two little tails for, that are inside the magic circle and you're just going to pull them so that the inside closes just like that. And then in this first double crochet that we made, not the chain, but the first double crochet, you're gonna put your hook through, yarn over, pull through both of those loops on your hook and slip stitch it closed. So now you have this circle that we're gonna work from. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to actually shape the heart. So we're not gonna chain to start. We're actually gonna jump straight into the stitches. So we're going to work six triple crochets into the second space from the hook. So this stitch that we did the slip stitch to connect the last stitch with, that is our first one. And then this one right next door is the second one. We're gonna work six triple crochets into that one right there. So to do a triple crochet, we're gonna yarn over twice. We're going to insert our hook and yarn over and pull through. Now have four loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over one last time and pull through the final two. And that is your first triple crochet. So we're gonna do five more of those all in the same stitch, okay? So we're gonna yarn over twice. We're going to insert our hook into that same stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over, put the last two. Now repeat this another four times. Once you've worked six triple crochets into the second stitch from the hook, it should look something like this. And we're gonna move on to the rest of the heart. In the next stitch, you're gonna work one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're gonna work a double crochet. And in that same stitch, a half double crochet. To do that, you're gonna yarn over and start like you do a double crochet. You're gonna put your hook through the stitch, yarn over and pull through to have those three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and instead of pulling through two and then two, you're gonna pull through all three, just like that. Then in the next space, we're gonna work two half double crochets. Just like that. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet, a triple crochet, and then a double crochet. And that creates the bottom part of our heart, just like that. Now we are going to repeat everything that we did on side one on side two. So in that next space, we're gonna work two double crochets. Then in this next space, we're gonna do a half double crochet. 
and then a double crochet. And then in this next space, one double crochet. And then finally, and then in this space, we're gonna do those six triple crochets. Now we are going to skip this stitch right here and we're going to insert our hook into the first space at the beginning of the magic circle. We're going to yarn over and pull through and immediately pull through to make a slip stitch and then chain one and then cut your yarn and just pull through, pull taut and there you go, you have the heart for the inside of our granny square. Okay, so now we're gonna start building the actual um, square around the heart. For the majority of this, we are going to be doing one stitch per space, but I will indicate when we are doing the corners and building the corners because the corners are gonna have two stitches per space, but I will indicate that. But I just wanna give you a little bit of a 411 before we jumped in. So we're gonna start by attaching the second color yarn that we're gonna use. So what I'm gonna do is find the center where we had just slip stitched that last stitch and the first stitch together. I'm just gonna insert my hook. I'm going to grab whatever color yarn I'm gonna use for the majority of my scarf and holding the um, tail of the yarn between my ring and pinky fingers and the actual working part of the yarn between my index and middle finger. I'm just gonna hold that between these two and use this as a guide. I'm gonna grab the yarn by yarning over and pull through, still holding onto the tail back there. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through and then chain two. And you're gonna have this tail back here that's not tied to anything. You can tie it. You can tie your yarn to where you're attaching it. I just find that I like the look of this better. We'll just make sure to weave that in later. Now in that same space, we're gonna work a triple crochet. Then for the next two spaces, we're gonna work double crochets. Then we are going to work two half double crochets into the same space. We are gonna chain two. And then in this next space, we're gonna work two half double crochets again. Just like that. And that starts our corner for us, this corner space right there. Now we are gonna work two half double crochets in the next two stitches, just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but with double crochets. So one in one space, the second in the second space. And then we're gonna do a triple crochet. So the stitches get taller as we are going down so that we can build the square shape. And now we have reached another corner area. So for this one, we're gonna work two triple crochets into one space. After we do that, we're gonna chain two. And in this next space right here, we're gonna do a double triple crochet. So we're gonna wrap it three times around our hook. So we would have one, two for a triple crochet. We're gonna do one more for this double triple crochet. Insert our hook into that stitch, yarn over, oops, and pull through just like that. We have five loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through those last two. So you have this nice tall stitch right here. And then within that same space, we're gonna work a standard triple crochet. Just like that. And that is our second corner. Then we're going to, in the next space, work a triple crochet. Then in the next space, a double then a half double and that has made our way to the bottom of the heart so this is the first half that we have going on and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side 
So now in the next space, we're going to do a double crochet. And then in this next one, we're going to do a triple. And then we're going to build the corner. So we're going to do a triple crochet. And then that double triple crochet. And then in that same space, three, four, just like that. Then we're going to chain two. And we're going to work two triple crochets into the next space. Just like that. Then in this next space, we're gonna do a triple crochet. And then the next two spaces, we're gonna do double crochets. And then the next two spaces, we're gonna do half double crochets just like that and now we're at the corner once again our final corner in this space right here we're gonna do two half double crochets chain two and then this next space two half double crochets now we're gonna do a double crochet into this stitch right here and then in this final stitch, it might be a little bit challenging to see just because it's where we slip stitched that first and last stitch together when we were making the heart. But in this stitch right here, we're going to do a double crochet. Now we're going to find that first stitch right there and we're just going to slip stitch them together. And once we do that, we have created the basic shape of the square. Now we are going to do single crochets all around the square to give it a little bit more shape and to make it a little bit bigger. So to do that, we're just going to chain one in that first stitch that we just slip stitched into. I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. So I have two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through again. And that is our single crochet. We're going to single crochet down this row and once we get to this corner stitch right here we're going to work directly into it so we're going to work two single crochets directly into it we're going to chain two just like we did before then we're going to go in the same space again and work two single crochets and it just gives us a really nice crisp corner. You're gonna repeat this all down the square, making sure that you're working the correct stitches in the corner of the square like we just did. So we get to the corner, working straight into that space, doing two single crochets, chaining two and then in the same corner space working two single crochets and once you get back up to the top we're going to single crochet into each stitch until we reach that first one again and we're just going to slip stitch the first and last stitches together we're going to chain one and then we can cut our yarn and just pull through pull it tight and there is your heart square just like that we're gonna make another 11 of these so we're gonna have 12 total or however many you would like to make your desired length of scarf and then we're gonna come back here to sew it all together so now that we have our nice stack of squares done we're gonna get into sewing them together we're gonna be sewing using the whip stitch it just makes a really nice seamless seam as you can see here and as you could also see, these two hearts are facing out from one another. This is going to be the center of the scarf. So as you're sewing, just try to make sure that six of your hearts are facing left and then the other six are facing right. And then the seam in the middle where these two meet. That way, when you're wearing it, the hearts will be right way out on both sides instead of having one be upside down on one side unless that's the look you're going for you obviously can sew it together that way 
but I wanted my hearts to be facing the same way both sides going down so I'm gonna show you quickly how to do the whip stitch but just in case I'm also going to link down below the tutorial I followed when I was learning just because it's a little bit hard to see when you're using the same color yarn I find so I'm gonna take a square I'm going to line it up where I want to sew it together obviously then I want to take yarn that matches the color of my square and I'm going to thread it through my tapestry needle and I find it easier to work the whip stitch when they're almost sandwiched together like this so that's how I'm going to work right here in this first stitch I'm going to insert my needle through the V back to front just like that leaving a nice long tail and then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to insert it through the other corresponding V on that second square just like that I'm gonna pull it a little bit tauter then I'm going to go back to the other side find my second V right there I'm going to work front to back And then I'm going to find the second V on the second square and I'm going to work front to back I want to keep going on this pattern working front to back making sure that our stitches are lined up nicely and you're just going to continue this pattern through the entirety of the square once you reach the end, you can actually take those ends of your yarn and you can just pull it just a bit taut. And then I like to wiggle it, wiggle the seam out a little bit just so it's not like too, too tight. But it just creates a very nice seamless kind of seam. I feel like it melts together really nicely. And then you're just going to weave in the both of those ends and repeat this for all of your squares. Once that's done, we're going to come back and we're going to work on the border. Alrighty, now that we have gone and sewn all of our squares together, we are going to start working on the border. So we're first just going to neaten up our edges by doing a round of single crochets in our main square color. I'm going to attach my yarn between the two hearts that are facing opposite directions just so the seam is going to be where my hair is covering. So I'm just going to insert my hook and attach my yarn. Just chain one. And then I am just going to single crochet down the entirety of the scarf. It could be a little bit hard, as you can see, to get your hook through the seamed areas. Oop. As you watch me struggle to do so, just kind of kind of wiggle it in there. Boop. And then you have one. And then it's a little bit easier as you go down because you're just following the actual square. So you're literally just going to single crochet in every stitch all around the scarf. Also, if you worry that you're going to lose where that first stitch is, you just pop a stitch marker right there. That's what I'm going to do just so I don't lose where that first stitch is. And like I said, you're just going to single crochet around the entirety of the scarf. Once you get towards the end, you're going to switch out your colors because we're going to do a stripe of the light pink. We're going to have a bit of a double kind of edged piece. So instead of completing that last sail crochet, we're actually going to put it down and we're going to grab our lighter colored yarn 
and if you're holding a strand of mohair or something to give it a texture, you grab that as well. These are kind of a package deal. And then you'll just switch out your yarn by completing the single crochet by instead of grabbing the dark pink, you're gonna grab that light pink or your heart color. And then just working a stitch into that first stitch. And obviously I will move my stitch marker this new beginning of the row stitch and you can go ahead and break your color number two as you can see we have ends right here that we can I like to personally do just like one little knot together just to kind of keep it sturdy and what will keep it really sturdy is weaving in the ends later but for now that will be okay and what we're going to do is we are just going to single crochet into every stitch once again. We don't want these to be too tall. We just want to give it a little something. And once we complete that, we are going to switch back to the color number two. For me, that's my darker pink. We're going to switch back to that one more time. Do single crochets again. And then for the fourth time, switch to the color one. For me, that's my light pink for a second time for a total of four single crochet rows. So we have color two single crochet, color one like we're working on right now. We're gonna go back to color two and then we're gonna do color one. And then after that, we're gonna do the scalloped edging. Now that we have completed the four alternating rows of single crochets, we're gonna move on to the scalloped edging. We're going to use the color number one. So we're gonna remove our stitch marker and work one single crochet into that first stitch. I'm just gonna place mine back just cause I think it's helpful for keeping track. Next, we're gonna skip this second stitch and work five double crochets into this third stitch. Once you've done that, you can kind of see the scallop starting. We're going to skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the stitch after that. And then we repeat this pattern all the way down. So we start with our single crochet, we skip the next stitch, and in that stitch following, we work five double crochets. Then we skip the next stitch and work a single crochet in the following stitch. And there you go, you have your scalloped edge started. We're gonna go through and we are gonna do this around the entirety of the scarf, and then we'll meet back when we reach the stitch marker again. Once you reach the end, you can go ahead and remove your stitch marker. If it doesn't match up perfectly, that's okay. I, here is my first, um, sail crochet. I should have a stitch between, but I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into that single crochet. Even though it's not perfect, we're going to chain one and we're going to cut our yarn. And it looks a little weird compared to the others, but like I said, this part is going to be where, um, like it's the back of the scarf. So your hair will most likely be covering it or it'll be covered by a jacket. It won't be very noticeable. And now all that's left to do is to weave in all the ends, which is annoying, but I believe in you. And then once you do that, I recommend also giving it a nice good block just because it does get a little bit stiff. As you can see, there's a little bit of curving. The um, scalloped edge is a little bit stiff. So I'm definitely gonna give mine a nice good block before I really start wearing it. But yeah, for all intents and purposes, you are done with your scarf. Just finish those last little details. I so believe in you and you're all set. All right, friend, 
that's it. You made it and I hope you loved it. I hope you had a great time. Hope it came out gorgeous. Bet it did because you made it. Hello. If you want to share on social media, make sure to tag me. It's just crochet by AK on both TikTok and Instagram. I would love to see what you guys made. And if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. I plan on doing some more tutorials in the near future, as well as just some fun, cozy hangout videos, because you guys already know, those are my favorites. Also, if you want more free content, make sure to check out the Crochet Authority podcast with me and my friends Morgan and Savannah. It's always a good time. You can listen on YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. Alrighty, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you all so very dearly, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye, everybody.